Despite doing well with critics and having barely gotten started with its first season, Swamp Thing has gotten the axe at DC Universe. From debunked rumors to behind-the-scenes drama, here's a look at everything that led to this comic's adaptation's quick cancellation. The first sign that the series was stumbling came even before the first episode aired on DC Universe in late May 2019. In mid-April, it was reported production on Swamp Thing was being shut down early and that the show's first season, originally planned for 13 episodes, was being whittled down to 10. There was no word on exactly why Swamp Thing's first season was cut short, but the news certainly didn't boost fan confidence. Neither did a now-deleted Instagram post from one of the series' cast members. Virginia Madsen, who played the troubled Maria Sunderland in Swamp Thing, wrote on her Instagram page, I'm beyond sad. What a terrible decision. We have been cut to the core by those who have never set foot into the swamp. Even executive producer James Wan admitted to being baffled by the decision to sink Swamp Thing, although he still encourages fans to check out the first season. In an Instagram post, Wan wrote, Don't really know or understand why Swamp Thing was cancelled, but I can tell you this, all the cast and crew and producing writing team poured their hearts into this. Really proud of everyone's hard work. Go watch episode 2 and immortalize these 10 episodes. Swampy deserves it. One of the earliest and the most widespread speculations about the show's sudden cancellation was made by Movies.com writer John Golson in a series of now-deleted tweets. The story, which has since been debunked, is that Swamp Thing was cut short because of an accounting error blamed on the state of North Carolina, where the series was filming. It's probably just some accounting error. It is not an accounting error. Well, it could be. It is it's not an accounting error. The story went that Swamp Thing's budget was $80 million, and that North Carolina, through a program meant to encourage filmmaking in the state, had promised to cover $40 million of the production costs through state grants. Then, according to Golson's story, someone in the North Carolina government messed up, and Swamp Thing's production was only granted $12 million of the promised $40 million. So, short $28 million, the Swamp Thing production closed up shop. Okay, my bad. Shut it down. This is Shut it down! That's it! Um, but shortly after Golson's story began to circulate, Screen Rant reported that his accounting error theory simply wasn't true. Swamp Thing was granted $12 million for its first season's production. They were also allowed a separate grant of $4.9 million for the pilot's episode. There was never a discussion of North Carolina picking up half the bill for Swamp Thing. According to some, the cancellation of Swamp Thing doesn't only impact that series, but could threaten every other DC Universe show. In June 2018, AT&T completed its acquisition of Time Warner, of which the DC Universe streaming service is a part. When Deadline reported Swamp Thing's cancellation, the outlet pointed out that, quote, DC Universe is being re-evaluated following the completion of AT&T acquisition. The implication seems to be that if Warner Media is going to have its own streaming service, a separate DC Universe streaming platform might be considered redundant. If that's the case, then producing new original series in the interim could be considered a waste. Fudge. Commenting on the cancellation of Swamp Thing on the horror website Bloody Disgusting, writer Brad Miska speculated that Swamp Thing had become, quote, the first of probably many scapegoats. The problem, Miska wrote, is that DC Universe was experiencing problems and something had to give. Comparing it to AMC's handling of the horror streaming service Shudder, he criticized DC Universe for giving up too soon. Miska certainly could be right. Perhaps suffering in Marvel's shadow on the big screen has made Time Warner executives more skittish in the face of anything less than complete and undeniable success. With some time having passed since Swamp Thing's cancellation, it now seems like the series' premature ending could be chalked up to the oldest showbiz roadblock of all. Apparently they've got some real creative differences. The playlist reported that the call to shorten Swamp Thing was a creative decision, and not part of a re-evaluation of DC Universe's performance, which they said was, quote, outpacing expectations. Slash Film likewise reported the season truncation was due to creative differences. One of the few sites to offer any specifics in their update was Bloody Disgusting, who claimed their source told them the creative differences in questions were about the nature of the series. According to the site, some people behind the scenes wanted Swamp Thing to be a horror series. It was very important for all of us that it be sort of be grounded more in the horror genre. While others wanted a weekly procedural, we're not sure how anyone pictures a swamp monster might be able to dust crime scenes for fingerprints, but okay. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.